Did you know that there are plenty of unreleased heroes that are sat in the Heroes of the Storm vaults, gathering dust, likely to never see the light of day? Many of these heroes are completely fleshed out and have been on the wish lists of players for nearly a decade now. So who are they, and more importantly, why were they never released? Let's start with perhaps the most anticipated hero, Blackthorn, or Kyle Blackthorn Vlaros. You see, other than the Lost Vikings and a couple of original Nexus heroes, the vast majority of current heroes are from Blizzard's main IPs, those being Warcraft, Starcraft, Overwatch, and Diablo. Attempting to cater for a younger audience, Blackthorn felt a little too dated for the developers, and I admit, the aesthetic of a sweaty shirtless man wielding a shotgun and bombs probably doesn't fit with the overall theme they were looking for. But that didn't stop the developers from teasing at his release in multiple panel discussions, including 2014, 2017, and 2018. Nonetheless, this left many of the long-term Blizzard fans feeling left out. Given the demographic of my hot video viewers, I would wager that there are plenty of you out there that played Blackthorn on the SNES back in the day. Next up, Overwatch and Reinhardt, who has been in testing since as early as 2019, according to Blizzard dev Brett Crawford. Apparently he was ultimately can because they were struggling to prototype his barrier field. Now I don't claim to have much coding knowledge, but this doesn't strike me as a roadblock. There are other MOBAs with heroes boasting similar abilities. What's more likely then is that after they dropped May as an Overwatch tank in 2020, they fulfilled that niche and since player count started to drop at this point, they didn't have much incentive to continue development. The more I think about it though, and a potential kit, he has a charge mechanic which is similar to what Diablo or even Butcher does, and his fire strike ability is similar to Varian's Lion Fang, so I suspect his implementation was driven mainly by fans and the developers kept up appearances to keep us excited. In addition to Reinhardt, we were also teased at Reaper, seen here in Kira's introduction video, but nothing was ever seen of this again. What about Warcraft characters then? The IP that is most synonymous with Blizzard and the one with the most characters to choose from. Well, Queen Ashara was at the top of this list for a long, long time, since she featured heavily in the prelude to Battle for Azeroth in 2018 when HOT was at its peak. Heroes seem to get a lot of attention when they are fresh in people's minds, so Queen Ashara was a strong contender. There were even voice lines data mine indicating her imminent release. You will never be forgiven, Ashara. But once again, this never came to fruition, which is a shame because there are plenty of kit options here to choose from, since Queen Ashara effectively has two forms, her original Night Elf form or Naga after her pact with Nazoth. Lady Vash was also a notable Naga who was speculated since the beginning, as she featured on the developer's hit list from as early as 2011. However, she became somewhat redundant when it was announced that Sylvanas Windrunner was in the game, as the ranged assassin with a bow niche was already taken. But this didn't stop Blizzard also adding Hanzo later down the line. In case the StarCraft fans were feeling left out, there are a couple of notable heroes known to have been in development, starting with Gabriel Tosh, who also featured on the 2011 developer hit list. There were also hero interaction strings data mined indicative of his imminent arrival in 2014, but it never happened. Likely what happened was that they implemented Nova as an alternative ghost from the StarCraft universe. Now I have absolutely no idea why they chose Nova over Tosh. But once again, this is a shame because they could have done something cool with his psionic abilities. Currently, this niche is fulfilled only by the Protoss in-game. Selendis also featured on the 2011 hit list. She is, however, a playable character in Resurgence of the Storm if anyone is interested, the community-made mod of StarCraft 2 that mimics the Heroes of the Storm. Selendis was also confirmed to be the next hero in development by David Warner, one of the developers back in 2020, but this was around the time that dev support got cut. Plus, there is a lot of similarities between Selendis and Zeratul. I'm not sure if they would ever get them to full release. So there you have it, there are plenty of heroes that were in development that never made it to the game, and plenty more I didn't mention shown here. So which hero would you like to have seen added to the game, or do you have any suggestions outside of this list that would have been a good addition?